It's a struggle to find a story that doesn't have them in it today. It's like Sevco not to go down. Under I mean the players do it every week. Christopher Jullian has taken to social media, ahead of this weekend's Glasgow derby, however, there is one thing that is noticeable from the picture. A smiling Tom Rogic making his way onto the training pitch at Lennox Town. The playmaker started the 4-0 win over Ross County but he limped off in the first half with Matt O'Reilly replacing him. Rogic was on the end of a lunging tackle from Kane Ramsey, which resulted in a straight red card from John Robertson. Rogic didn't go away on international duty with Australia meaning that he can work back to fitness. Both Rogic and his manager will be hoping that the player is fully fit to play against Rangers on Sunday. Celtic have opened up negotiations to sign lone star Cameron Carter-Vickers permanently over the summer and it does look like Hotter could be next to follow. Celtic are expected to make the lone move of Hotter from Benfica permanent after an impressive debut season in Scotland from the Portugal U21 winger. It is understood Celtic have an option to purchase the 22-year-old for £6.5 million. In other Celtic news that was all over the place, I stand by my comment on the community tab. And folk that know me from over 20 years in going to Celtic Park know I don't make shit up. But it is what is, Liverpool complete deal to sign Ben Doak. The highly regarded Celtic wonder kid will join the Reds for £600,000 compensation. Moving on swiftly. I will put a link to foxsports.com should make an interesting read for you. It's Friday so time to ramp it up slight with a speech from the Celtic boss. Alright boys, the message is the same, yeah? And don't play the occasion, nothing changes. Basic principles of our game, it's what's got us here to get us further. They're the things we can control. Don't let any chaos out there derail from what we're all about. That's the most important thing. Just think about how we've overcome it. it hasn't been by changing our approach, it hasn't been from veering from what we're good at and what we believe in most of all. As I said to you before, whatever the challenges are often in front of us tonight, you can get through them by sticking to our beliefs. Smash through it. You walk out there today, boys, feeling 10 feet tall. You know why? You're wearing a shirt and you're representing a club that's achieved the greatest of achievements. And you stand on the shoulders of the players who have achieved all that before you. So you walk out there feeling invincible, 10 feet tall. At the end of the game, Cal lifts up the trophy and you walk back in here you're going to be a little bit taller on what you create, on what you do. And you're all about it to this football club. Good luck, boys. Come on. Oh, 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 oh.